All right, welcome to um, Acid Base Concepts video part five. Um, in this video, I would love to <coughs> like to talk about the last two boxes. Sorry, the last row of the uh, this concept stuff. So acids can be classified as monoprotic or polyprotic depending on the number of protons available for donation. And what you need to be able to do after this is the given structure of formula um, of acid classify the acid as monoprotic, diprotic or triprotic. So let's look at that. Okay. So what do we mean by polyprotic acids? So acids can be classified depending on how many protons are to be donated. So for example, monoprotic acid means it has um, one hydrogen that can be um, donated. Sorry, monoproton, one proton that can be donated. So for example, HCl, it only has one proton, or CH3COOH. Um, acetic acid or ethanoic acid that is. Now ethanoic acid has got CH3COO as the, uh, the long end of longer end I guess of the, uh, the other ion that's acetic ion, acetate ion sorry. Um, so acetate ion is usually bonded to one hydrogen that can come off as acid. Uh, whereas polyprotic acids has more than one proton that, that can be uh, donated. So diprotic acid, as the name suggests, di is 2, so um, H2SO4 or H2CO3, sulfuric acid or carbonic acid, respectively, they can donate more than one, or in fact just two. Yeah, I'll write the equation in a minute. Uh, triprotic acid, um, for example, H3PO4, which is phosphoric acid, or citric acid, which has got the formula of C6H8 and O7. Now, if you look at the structural diagram there, structural formula there, that looks uh, hopefully makes sense. So H is attached on this side three H's that you can see on the um, molecule, uh, they can all come off and to be, to be donated. So let's look at the equations. Okay. So first example was H2SO4 and H2CO3. They really behave the same thing. H2SO4. Now if it donates protons, so let's just put an arrow with minus one proton. What does it become? It's going to be HSO4 with one negative. And if it donates another proton, because this is diprotic, it will just be SO4 2 minus. So that's sulfate ion. At this point, HSO4 minus, if you remember, this is amphoteric substance because it can gain proton or lose proton. So intermediate forms are often. Um, um, amphiprotic or amphoteric substance as well. Um, H2CO3 is basically the same, so I'm, I'm gonna skip that. Let's go to triprotic one. So H3PO4, phosphoric acid. Now it does very much the same. If you take one proton away, one less. It's PO. PO4 doesn't change, just the uh, uh, number of hydrogen there. So H2PO4. 
it can continue. I'm um, just going to do it down here. Number of H here will be 1. Charge increases because you're taking something positive away. Finally, it will just leave PO4, 3 minus, the phosphate ion. So that's how uh, polyprotic acids behave. They can donate more than one proton.